when people say black people can't be racist, they mean that black people being discriminatory towards a white person more often than not, especially, is not the same as a white person being racist to a black person because there is no historic precedent for white oppression on the virtue of the color of one's white skin. Of course, white people have been historically marginalized and oppressed from a class point of view, not a race one. That's the difference, okay? So yeah, black people can be, black people can be mean, they can be discriminatory if you care exclusively on the semantics and you say, that's true, but it's still racist. Then it's like saying, you know, us making Karen jokes is technically sexist, okay? Or me talking about fucking white hogs is racist towards white people. And it's true. It is true. I am being racist towards some white people when I call them hogs. Okay? It's just not the same. And the real reason for why it's not the same is because there is no historic precedent for being oppressed on the virtue of the color of your white skin. That's precisely why, and I talk about this all the fucking time, I don't spend a lot of time talking about black Israelites, for example. I think black people can be racist. The dumb question, the real question is, can white people experience racism? Ooh, Sean the Black. That's actually a really interesting take. I've never really thought about it that way. Or I've never really, um, oh, I've never really said that before. I've never really thought about it that way. You're right. Are you being biased but not racist? No, I mean, like, racism is not the same. Like, you can you can just have, like, a blanket definition for this word and be like, oh, it's racism. It's always just, it's just like racism. It's pure racism. Or it's reverse racism against white people. But it's, it's not going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. There's no historical context for it. So it's not going to happen. And whenever people say, like, the Irish argument, for example, where Irish people are oppressed, yeah. Because they were not considered white at the time, dumbass. And now that they're comfortably within the ranks of white people, it's, it's no longer a thing. And that's the whole point. Irish people were, were and, and historically marginalized people, were often compared to black people when being oppressed. Another great example, South Africans. People constantly talk about white genocide in South Africa. This is a Nazi uh, idea. It's like something that Nazis try to fucking put forward and talk about when, in fact, again, I just want everybody to understand, white people in South Africa make up 10% of the population. They own 90% of the land as a consequence of the apartheid state and the apartheid regime that existed until not that long ago. That's what fucking people are saying when they say white genocide is happening. To a group of people that own 90% of the most viable fucking land in South Africa right now, despite making up only 10% of the population. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Seriously. Anyway. Um, on that, on that note, I, I have to go. Because I'm fucking gonna actually be late. So they deserve to be slaughtered? No, they're not actually being fucking slaughtered. That is an idiotic and also completely fucking made up uh, and ridiculous take. Okay? Even then, more black people per capita are being murdered in South Africa. So you're literally fucking wrong. So even on that front, you're still wrong. You understand?
All right. By the way, isn't that South Africa thing just a lie? They're, they are killed proportionally to their population. Those few cases are just blown up by Nazis. Yes. Yes. So black people are kill, still killed. And uh, I believe a higher percentage. Well, yeah, black people are still killed in South Africa at a higher percentage than white people. It's just like a fucking Nazi conspiracy that like uh, white people in South Africa were being murdered on the virtue of being white. 